Liza Mundy. I am thrilled to be at Alabama Booksmith in Birmingham. Today happens to be Pearl Harbor Day. It's December 7th today. And that is incredibly significant to me because my book, Code Girls, is about the 10,000 women who were recruited to break German and Japanese codes in the months after Pearl Harbor, women at many women's colleges received a secret summons from the US Navy asking them two questions. Do you like crossword puzzles and are you engaged to be married? And if they answered yes to the first and no to the second, they would be invited to take a secret training course in cryptanalysis, which none of them had ever heard of and which none of them could talk about. And they would learn to become code breakers and come to Washington to break codes for the U.S. Navy. Meanwhile, the U.S. Army was hotly competing for educated female code breakers as well. They sent their handsomest young Army officers throughout the South and the Midwest under the thinking that uh, young female school teachers would be susceptible to the charms of a handsome man and would come to Washington and learn how to break codes. Uh, in fact, the school teachers were very eager to come to Washington. They wanted to serve the effort, war effort. They wanted to bring the boys home and they wanted to make more money than they were making as underpaid, overworked school teachers. So it's been um, an incredible experience talking to these women and an honor to tell their story. I think of them as the hidden figures of the greatest generation and uh, it has been an extraordinarily meaningful experience. I just got off the phone when I was driving to Birmingham with my central figure, Dot Braden Bruce, who is 97 now. Uh, she is still going strong, and I think, like all the women in the book, she's, she's very pleased to finally get the recognition that she deserves for, um, for her service to our country. And it's, it's great to be here uh, in Birmingham, and it's particularly meaningful to be here on Pearl Harbor Day. Thank you.